Hi everyone. Um, so after I posted Iggy's TikTok video of him pivoting on the bowl, I had a fair number of people who contacted me wanting to know how I taught him the trick. Um, and so I'm going to make this YouTube video to help you learn how to teach your dog um, this particular trick. Uh, so when I'm teaching the pivot, I usually um, prefer to start with a surface that the dog doesn't slip on. So in this case, I put a carpet or a rug on the floor that may be a slippery surface. Or you can teach your dog on a rug or on another surface where you can get grip or she can get grip. Uh, and I use my pivot uh, bowl is this really nice uh, rubber, uh, it's a rubber uh, pet bowl that I get from my local tractor supply. I think it was like maybe $6. Um, as you can see, it's pretty pliable and the dog gets good traction on top of the bowl. Um, I've added a pink bandana for the picture just so you can see the dog getting up on the bowl. What you'll also need uh, is some rewards for your dog. So depending on what motivates your dog, whether that be food or treats, um, or a toy or even like praise, um, you're going to need to know what motivates your dog. And in Iggy's case, um, he's motivated by food and by toys. Um, so I will either pick string cheese or I'll take some food out of his daily meal, his breakfast. Um, he trains better in the morning than he does in the afternoon. He's a little fresher. Um, so depending on your dog, what motivates your dog, what time of the day your dog tends to be on, um, will determine when you uh, train your dog. Okay, so when I teach this trick, um, I begin by teaching the dog to step up on this rubber bowl. Let's see if you can see it better. And so for those of you who have taught your dog to step on the bowl, it's a pause up. But if you haven't taught your dog to step on the bowl, then you bring your dog over to the bowl and you lure it onto the bowl. And then when your dog's on the bowl, you treat it. Good boy. Step off. Step on. Good boy. So I lure my dog up onto the bowl, and then the next thing I do is I teach the dog to understand when I'm pointing to the bowl that I want him to get on the bowl. So I lured him, now I'm at a point. Step up, good boy. Okay, the next uh, part of the trick you teach is you teach your dog to move to step to the side. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can either uh, put the food right in front of your dog's nose and then step, take one step to the side, see how he moved one step to the side, and then treat when he does. And that actually keeps your dog up on the bowl rather than jumping off. Or you can just simply step to the side. Good boy. And when your dog steps, takes one step to the side, you treat. The next part of the trick is you want to teach the dog to step more than one step. <laughs> so you can hold the dog on the bowl by putting food in front of its nose and then get the dog to step a couple of steps and then treat. Good boy. And then you continue to um, get the dog to move around the bowl a few more times before you treat. Good boy. Now the next session you train this trick, you want to get a little distance between you and the dog. So you will um, step away from the dog and hold the treat in your hand so you're um, shaping the behavior that he's already done and you'll step to the side. Good boy. And kind of repeat the process where you're getting the dog to step more than one step before you treat. Good boy, good boy. Then you'll begin to phase out the food. And so what I do is I, and I wanna switch the way I'm using my hand. I wanna start teaching the dog to um, pivot when I uh, turn my finger. So I'm gonna turn the way I use my hand, and then I'm gonna turn, get up, good boy. Step on, step on, try again, good boy. And then I'm gonna turn my hand with the food in it, and I'm gonna um, step around the dog as he pivots. Good boy. And then I'm going to treat. Then the final phase of the trick is to keep the food in my back pocket and to turn my finger. So I'm going to pivot. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Pivot. Good job. And then treat. Good boy. And that's it. It's not terribly difficult and it's fun and uh, it looks really cool.